What is up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. Yes, thank you guys. Uh, so my name is Jeff and on today's show we're going to be talking about expansion joint. Why do we need it? What is it made out of? And what are the best types for certain situations? So stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. <music> So the term expansion joint might mean different things to different people. And I mean, the most common thing that most people think of when they hear the term expansion joint is the saw cuts or the tool joints that contractors put in a slab of concrete. And that certainly is a form of expansion joint. Now, in that case, those joints are there to control cracking. Now, if you've been pouring concrete for a while, though, the term expansion joint might mean a little bit something different to you. And you probably already know what I'm talking about here. But for everyone else, uh, let's just start from the beginning and try to make this make sense. So concrete expands and contracts over time that is just inevitable and there's nothing you can do about it and that's part of the reason why concrete cracks now another thing that is pretty much guaranteed is if you pour a slab on grade uh, it is that concrete slab is gonna rise up in the winter time as the ground freezes and again there's just nothing you can do about that part of it and this probably won't happen if you live down south but in any kind of a freestyle environment that concrete will, will heave up a little bit I mean sometimes as much as uh, an inch or two and so this can lead to cracks but again that's why those saw cuts were right there and it's going to take care of that problem. So the problem that I'm talking about here is when the concrete bonds to something that is not going to move with it and that would be like the foundation of your house or maybe a deck or I mean basically any uh, kind of vertical structure that doesn't have a footer under it and I mean that's the whole point of the foundation to start off with is so that that structure won't move. So to make this as simple as possible, the concrete is going to rise up but your house won't because if that concrete bonds to, to your house uh, because if that bond cre or <laughs> because if that bond <laughs> because if that concrete bonds to your house or you know something else is not going to move like that and the concrete's going to come up something has got to give and from my experience it's going to be the concrete i mean at very least you're going to get a crack along that side uh, but it could actually bust off some of the surface or even worse yet you could actually bust out some chunks now this is kind of a good thing in a way because you know damage to your concrete is still way better than a crack in the foundation of your house but there is one simple thing that you can do to keep this from happening and that is to just use expansion joint and this is going to create some isolation between the slab and the vertical structure and it's going to allow the concrete to move up and down without binding up and it's also important to address any spots that might be sticking out from the wall a little bit uh, and just make sure you build that all the way out with the expansion as well so what is expansion joint made out of and which kind should we use for certain situations so the first one up here is going to be fiber expansion and this one is going to be the cheapest and the easiest to cut you can uh, you know slice it with a utility knife really really easy the problem with fiber expansion is it does seem to deteriorate kind of fast so you know you go back you know whether it's five to ten years later and you know sometimes even sooner than that that expansion is completely gone and you just have a gap there i mean it's still kind of doing uh, serving the purpose but you never want a gap in that concrete there so next up is going to be foam and foam expansion can come in a couple different varieties and you know the most common one is going to be this rolled foam and honestly you know we used to use a ton of this stuff and so this is just a great option i mean first of all it's really easy to store and easy to hold to the jobs it's just in these nice rolls you know most expansion comes in five foot sometimes even ten foot sections so that's that's a big advantage to this rolled foam. It's also uh, it's really easy to cut. I mean, honestly, you don't even need a knife. You can just rip it with your hands if you want to. But what I like best about the rolled foam expansion is just how flexible it is and it's not gonna break. And so if you're pouring up against like split face block or a retaining wall or something like that, it just does a really good job of contouring along the, that wall. And it's just, you're just gonna be able to get the tightest against those surfaces. Now, the other kind of foam expansion would be this rigid foam, and this happens to be the Nomaflex brand. And, you know, to me, this is actually a great option. This is kind of new the last, you know, five or six years. It's gotten really popular. You know, it's got some nice flex to it, and it's easy to work with. It's easy to cut, and, you know, just a great option. The only downside that I would say to this foam is sometimes when you're edging along it, uh, both of these kinds of foam expansion, when you're running that edger, it, sometimes it can kind of snag and dig into the foam a little bit. So you do just have to be a little bit careful while you're edging up against it. So another option is vinyl expansion. And to me, this one is the one that looks the absolute best. Now it is probably the most expensive option out there and it is a little bit harder to cut. I mean, a utility knife will work, but honestly a circular saw, it was always my go-to move with this. And we used to use a ton of this on high-end jobs just because it looks the best. So another thing is this rubber expansion, and this is probably the most commonly used around our area. And it's actually made from recycled tires, and it is still very cost effective. It's also, you know, it doesn't want to break.
break like that fiber stuff. Uh, you know, it, you can make some bends with it. it. It is a little bit hard to cut again. It's kind of like the vinyl. A circular saw honestly works the best, but this stuff does, it's probably the most cost effective option that's gonna last the absolute longest. Now, there are other options out there, but the important thing is that you use something, I mean, you just don't wanna even take the risk of pouring up against something without using any expansion at all. All these types of expansion come in a variety of thicknesses and height to match whatever situation you have. And you know, you can hold this stuff up to your line as you pour the concrete, or you could pre-hang it with spray adhesive or concrete nails or something like that. Uh, so please check out our Technique of the Week episode where we go over hanging expansion with spray adhesive. So to recap everything here real quick, expansion joint is a cheap and easy way to keep your concrete from bonding to vertical surfaces and that way it can move up in the winter and down in the spring without causing any damage now i can also isolate separate slabs of concrete uh, to keep them from binding up so the edges of those don't start chipping so one simple thing to remember is that if you're pouring a slab on grade it is going to move and you always use expansion joint if you're pouring up against something that won't well guys that's pretty much it for this week's show thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch these videos man we really really do appreciate all the support that you guys show to the channel so from all of us here at deco creek tv thanks for watching and we'll see you next time